Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Jewels, Suds, and Soaps. My name is Julie, and um, today I would like to make just a few um, bars. And I have, it's a six uh, bar mold. And it's gonna be very basic. Um, I'm gonna be putting these crowns. I'm gonna lay them down towards this way. And I want to make bars out of these. Sorry about the camera angle. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt down my clear melt and pour. And the colors I'm going to be using today are uh, this beautiful, it's a very pretty, pretty uh, amaranth color. And I'm going to be using mica pearl. So these will be the colorants. I want it very light. I went ahead and mixed it with alcohol. It'll be better combined within the soap base. But I just uh, wanted something very, very... I want you to be able to see through the bar. So I don't want it, you know, very bright. We still want the bar to be translucent. So I'm going to go ahead and melt this down for 30 second bursts. And that usually, with this amount, I would say possibly at the maximum, um, and I do use my medium setting uh, on my uh, microwave, but I would say most at it, it the most three minutes, but it, it won't be that long. But we will be right back when it's melted. Okay, we are back. Um, the amount that I melted down uh, came up to about, it's about a cup. So my measuring cup right now is saying that there's a cup of this melted uh, melt and pour. So there's just a few, minute, you know, minute, I don't know if you could see them, but little clumps. So I'm just trying to um, get that out now. It's important I get it as clear as possible. Just going to continue stirring. Because if I put this in, let's see our temperature. If I put this back in the microwave, it's going to be just too warm. Yeah, we're at 140 right now. And it looks like we are good. I'm only going to spray here. Um, I'm only going to put the clear melt and pour. I'm only going to have a very uh, minute layer just to cover the top. And this... Um, was the mold that I used to make my embeds. Real pretty mold. Okay, again, I'm gonna spray with alcohol one more time because we want it as clear as possible. Okay, and that's it. I don't want any more in there because the embeds are quite big. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is, again, spray the alcohol for the air bubbles, and it's going to help um, the embeds to adhere. So I'm hoping you can see. Okay. So now this, uh, where the design is, the imprint, that will be the top of the bar. So when I put these in, and I'm going to wait a minute because I don't want it to, I need to develop a skin first. Mm -hmm. But in essence, what I'm going to do is just uh, place one here and then another one. And then what I'm going to do is color the clear into um, this pink, very light pink mixture. So, okay, um, let me see here. Let's see where we're at. Another couple more minutes. So it's sitting at about 100 in here. 
So it is cooling down. I am going to continue stirring this other melt and pour because it, I don't want it setting up on me too much. I think I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, microwave this probably for about another 10 seconds. It's wanting to really set up. Okay, so what I'm going to do, either you can press it, um, you know, with your finger, you can press down. And it does feel hard to me. The other way you can tell is if you blow on it. And if there's ripples, then it's not, it's not ready. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start placing my embeds. So actually, open see this would be the top okay so I'm going to start setting them and see it's not sinking okay put this one face down It is a good idea to spray these with alcohol as well. I usually do do that in the bowl. Um, I add the alcohol. It gets a little slippery with the alcohol. Frame again real good. What I'm going to do, um, as you can see, this already has gotten, um, you know, you can't even do anything, it's so thick. So what I'm going to do, I would say not even 30 seconds, this will be the portable temperature that I want. And we'll be right back. We are back. I went ahead and this turned out to be, this is also a cup, it's a cup at this point of the melt and pour so now if you notice it's very lightly pink because again I do want to see the embeds so I'm going to start pouring let's spray with alcohol one more time now you want to make sure especially that you get around the sides And just kind of any kind of area you could see that there may be a hole. So you know this, I'm going to want to move this a little bit just so I could get inside the side there. That was a pretty good guess for not measuring it out. 
We are just going to have enough. So you can always manipulate with your skewer the placement. You know, little girls love this kind of stuff. I fragranced mine today with strawberry. And it really smells quite pretty. What I'm going to do is let these set uh, for a few hours. And then we'll be back for the unmolding. Okay, we are back for the unmolding. Now the trick of getting these apart. The silicone you just grab pull it from the opposite ways hopefully you can see the design on there as well as the crowns but Here's the top. And there's the back. Really cute. Last one. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, thanks for joining me, and if you guys could please uh, subscribe and uh, like the video if you could please, and when you do subscribe, you'll get notifications as to when my next video will be. So I hope you guys have a good day, and thanks so much for watching.